were staying at this ridiculous house uh, in Quebec, which is like the French speaking province, like right above like Vermont. Beautiful house, and look at this property. They have a, a river. Look at their own pond that's fresh spring fed. Couldn't get any better. But today we're talking about what's inside this package. My good friend from Finland, Juho, sent me five vintage lenses that he thought would be pretty interesting for me to try. Ooh, oh man, he gave me finished candy. I'm almost more excited about this than the lenses. Look at all these lenses. What is this bad boy? All right, have a short seven hour drive back to the office, then we'll talk about these lenses. Good to be back at the office. Anyways, uh, vintage lenses. I feel like we all wanna get vintage lenses and use them, but it's really hard to know where to get them and which ones to buy. Isaac, where would you buy a vintage lens? Kijiji, Facebook <laughs> Marketplace. But how do you know you're not gonna get scammed? Well, see, Kijiji works at, uh, you. You don't know. <laughs> My friend Yuho and his team have a really cool company called Camera Rescue where they literally find vintage gear and then have very good ways of testing it and making sure that they're 100% and then you can buy them from their camera store. This way, you know you're getting the real deal every single time and I asked him to recommend five affordable really interesting vintage lenses that might be good for you and me and these are five that they recommended the first lens is a Minolta 45 mil f2 MD Roker rocker I'm not sure which it is these were sold in the 70s and were pretty common and look how small it is that's like the best thing ever about some of these vintage lenses this is tiny and that's why it's sometimes overlooked, but apparently it's supposed to be pretty good. So let's give it a little test. If you didn't know, you could pretty much adapt any lens to a Sony. Manual focus. There we go, 45 mil F2. Isaac, come over here, come over here. I need to film you. Get, get in the light, get in the light. Oh, sorry. Let's get some beauty shots. Good. Okay, let me, get, let me get a couple more serious clips. Right away, you can just tell that this has like a softer, more organic look than you know, the modern lenses we use. I really like that look. The 45 mil, pretty cool. I noticed that the the minimum focus distance is only 0.6 meters, so you can't get too close, you can't get nice close-ups, but a really cool lens for how small it is, and it only costs you $100. That is very affordable for a really cool, tiny lens like this. Also, as cool as it would be to say that I had a really epic cinematic chase with the police, <laughs> clearly that wasn't me, and no, I did not film any of that. Thanks to the sponsor of this video, ArcGrid. Super high quality stock footage at an affordable price. And by far my favorite thing about ArcGrid is that it's not just a random mix of stock footage that's almost impossible to put together in a nice cohesive one look kind of way. They have three to hundreds of clips for each 
clip that you find on there. So if you find, for example, a nice car chase scene, they don't just have one clip of that, they have 163, I think it was, and you can make whatever story you want from that. And that's really how we film things and make videos. We don't just film one clip from this scene and then one clip from that scene. It's really hard to put that together. ArtGrid makes it possible to tell really cool stories and to make those client videos where they have some crazy vision and no budget, well, now you can make it happen. So if you wanna fake your own police car chase scene, make sure to check out the link down below and thank you so much, ArtGrid, for sponsoring this video. The second lens is the Canon 35mm F35 SC. Apparently these older Canon FD lenses are highly sought after by cinematographers because they have an optical design and coating similar to the famous Canon K35 cinema lenses. And because of that, the prices of these have apparently gone up quite a bit, but it's still pretty affordable at 135-ish dollars. Also, this has a very legit <laughs> mechanism for the cap, you have to Press a button here and then spin this and then the cap comes off. I, useless information, but I just thought I'd share because I thought it was interesting. And this is what the Canon FD35 looks like. Isaac, did you just leave, did you leave bread over here? That's my non. <laughs> Okay, right away, you can see, people think like, oh, it's an F3.5, that's good, not gonna be a nice lens, but man, you can see, I know exactly what people are talking about, why they want this lens. It's a really, really nice quality to it. It's hard to explain, but I know you guys saw it when you're seeing that footage, it's just, I don't even know, is it is it the highlight roll off? Is it the softness? I don't know exactly what it is, but there is a vibe to this lens that's really nice 150 bucks that's not bad to get a really like unique look compared to just the modern lenses nothing wrong with the modern lenses but pretty nice okay this one might be probably like the coolest vintage lens that i have ever held in my hands it's a konica konica however you want to say it 21 mil f4 hexanon ar and this one will run you around 300 dollars. and apparently this is a little bit more rare it's a really nice wide lens and because i like wide lens they decided to send me a wide lens so let's test this out and we'll do a little unboxing while we test this out and here it is a 21 mil vintage lens. This is actually the widest vintage lens that I've ever tested out. <laughs> there comes a time every once in a while where all the boxes start stressing me out, so we're gonna do a mass unboxing real quick. Ooh, these are the Ammer and Aperture light tubes. Oh, finally, Aperture. I've been waiting for this one. Aperture, they make it so easy to use their lights, so now we have tubes that we can actually control with our phone. No, it's not charged. Plug it in real quick. We have to test it. Keep the entertainment going. Maddie's just finding an outlet. I'm just finding my passion. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, that's good. Okay, that's all the time we have of these. Well, that's better. It doesn't you can't say that, Isaac. Well, you can't say it's better than the last one. It's not theirs. Oh, different theirs. competing companies. Thanks, Aperture. <laughs> Anything Aperture is great. Mob armor. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Isaac, you want to do one? <laughs> oh, new Insta 361 RS. Uh, I didn't get a chance to make a video on this because I've been really, really busy. Thanks, guys. I love 360 cameras. Best action cameras around. Fanny pack. Whoa. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. When I got this, this, I wasn't expecting this. Oh, I saw Peter's video about this. This is like their new, what do they call it, Volta? I think this is called the Volta. It's like a all-in-one solution for content creators to vlog and make videos. So that's pretty cool. I may or may not be more pumped about this. Probably thing. not in the front though. Exactly like this. Dad. This is dad status right here. Okay. Okay. A long sleeve, a sweater, and a backpack. Douchebags changed their name to DB. I used this backpack for a little while. Uh, not this version, I think this is a new version. 
I have no idea what this one's called, but uh, these are actually really great camera backpacks. Well, imagine you find a red camera in it. You open up the fanny pack pack and yeah. <laughs> there's a GoPro, you open up the backpack and there's a red in there. <laughs> All these companies just wanna one up each <laughs> yeah. other. This is kind of a childhood dream of mine. I'll explain in a second. Young Maddie would be absolutely unbelievable joy at this moment. A rollerblade company sent me rollerblades. I don't think you guys understand how many hours of my life I've spent on rollerblades and how many times I wished I had a rollerblade sponsor. Now, USD sent me a free pair of rollerblades. That is dream come true. I'm quitting this channel. Isaac, you're out of a job. Tyler, you're fired. What? Oh, so, yeah. Sorry, you're, you're fired. Uh, I'm done with my channel. Lifelong dream of getting a rollerblade sponsor. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and, and that's actually, that's a good segue. Uh, Kid Affinity also sent us this. Uh, we're gonna be making a video with this. Uh. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Legit, this is, I'm not faking this at all. This is like the coolest thing ever. I realized that I only have like a few years of like, I could probably still rollerblade a little bit. So uh, I'm gonna milk those few years. And Isaac, have you ever rollerbladed? Just delivering flyers. You ready? Nope. <laughs> all right, let's see it, let's see it. Oh! <laughs> Are you ready or are you scared? No, 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 never Papa scared. didn't raise no whip. <laughs> Let's try to get across the skate park in one piece. The ramp. Can you do one so just so I can see it? Okay, okay. So do as you go like this and then you just spin backwards. What the? <laughs> <laughs> All right, your turn. It's easy, it's easy. Oh, Hell yeah, easy. there you go. That was nothing. <laughs> So I didn't hire him for uh, the rollerblade moves, but uh, this lens is pretty fun. Not really the best to be filming something like this on a vintage lens that's manual focus. I'm probably out of focus right now as we speak, but hey, this is fun. I believe we are, well, I'm a little too old. Isaac's still pretty young. I'm too young for this. Yeah, you're way too young, too for, this. young for this. I'm too old, but love it. I re a few years left of this. Got to milk every single year, so thanks uh, USD for sending these. Let's check out the next lens. Next, we have the Nikon 105 F2.5 Nikkor P Auto Pre AI. That's a mouthful. <laughs> It's $150, but by optical design, it's arguably one of the best Nikon vintage portrait lenses out there. They also gave us the oldest version, which is the pre-AI. Do you know what pre-AI is? Pre-AI meaning pre-computers. <laughs> yeah, pre, <laughs> pre when they came up with AI. <laughs> so about a year ago. <laughs> yeah, this was made a year ago, yeah. <laughs> it means it won't work natively on most Nikon cameras except the oldest one that use what we call bunny ear metering prongs. I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea what <laughs> any of that meant, but hopefully you know, maybe you know, maybe you don't, yeah, none of us know. <laughs> We have another zoom lens, the Tamron Adaptal 70 to 210 mil f3.5 SP CF iMacro VBR MC. Yes, you Are these the actual names of these lenses? Like, I, I would like to buy a 18698128678 the SP CF iMacro VBR AR. <laughs> I'm probably saying everything totally wrong. So apparently I think it is an adapt all because you could basically put this lens on pretty much any camera. And that was probably, I assume, like kind of revolutionary back then. Uh, so these were apparently really popular. 7,200 for, how much does it cost? About $100 for a 7,200. Oh, that's actually pretty good. That's pretty, yeah. sweet. That's pretty awesome. All right, let's test them out.
there we have it. Five really interesting, cool vintage lenses that are fairly affordable, right? Fairly affordable. Fairly affordable. Hot with my salary. <laughs> All right, we gotta up your salary so you can <laughs> afford it. I'm telling you, camera rescue, uh, camera store, do an incredible job with vintage lenses. So if you're interested, check them out. Man, I gotta say, even though I'm pretty into filmmaking and vintage lenses, I'm, I think I'm more into these rollerblades. Can I, can I say I'm a sponsored rollerblader? Not to burst your bubble, but. No, you can't. No, yes, you can. <laughs> yes, 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 you can. Yes, you can. Because uh, Teenage Maddie would be pretty pumped if he knew that I'd be sponsored Here, at 35. I'll, act like teenage <laughs> I'll, I'll be Teenage Maddie. <laughs> Whoa, I'm so stoked! <laughs> <laughs> no, it would have been more like. Nice. He'd be like, Ketos! Ketos! <laughs> Holy Uva! <laughs> this guy knows Finnish and everything. <laughs> Maddie, look at him work hard. He's great. Wait up! <laughs> See ya! Wait up, wait! Good job on the rollerblades. Killed it. I'll give you a bonus for that one. No, I actually like almost killed myself. <laughs> yeah, I actually not playing around. Not, not almost. I killed it. I no, actually yeah. killed myself. <laughs> Sometimes I'm not sure how many people like do they, do they think we just fake everything or Well, I did all, I do all my own stunts. I actually do all Maddie's stunts. <laughs> <Yeah. for him. laughs>